I want you to tell me if this sounds familiar. Dude, I've been going to the gym for like three months. I've been doing all the right things. I've been eating. I've been doing my cardio. I just, I don't understand why I can't get this weight off. I've been stuck at the same weight for weeks. Hi there, my name is Jesse. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to overcome a weight loss plateau. <laughs> So my weight loss journey started back in 2022. For three months, I went super hard. I was working out twice a day. I was eating close to nothing and I lost a lot of weight, but I had no muscle and I ended up gaining every pound right back. And so now it is 2024. We are eight months, nine months into this journey and I have lost all the weight that I had originally put on but I've also put on a lot of lean muscle. I'm in my muscle mommy era. That's why I'm sharing this information with you because I know there's some ladies out there that wanna know how to do it. So we're gonna be talking about the weight loss plateau. What a lot of people don't understand is your body is constantly adapting. It is in a constant survival protection mode. It's why we sweat. Our body is adjusting our temperature. It's why when we cut our finger, the body instantly goes into a healing process and white blood cells are sent where we've been cut. It's why we have eyelashes and it's why we have hair on our head to protect these vital organs, to protect these body parts. Now, what does that mean for weight loss? Your body is so good at adapting to routines. So that's why number one is important, changing up the routine. If you've been doing the same workouts for about two to three months, at some point, those same workouts are no longer as challenging as they were, even when you start to increase the weight. For example, for me, my quads have grown drastically. The leg press really wasn't doing a whole lot for me. And I just didn't feel like I was getting a really good workout. But now I do deadlifts. Now I do hack squat. And those have been much more effective for me. So switch up the routine. Do a different movement. Try a different kind of workout. Another thing, which is number two, is maybe try hybrid training. So hybrid training has become this really big trend on social media. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere on TikTok, on YouTube. I personally feel like it's just a glorified title for like CrossFit. Maybe not necessarily CrossFit, but just it basically means incorporating different styles of working out and training. So you lift weights, but you also run and you do you know, long distance running or you sprint or you swim or you, you know, whatever. So hybrid training just means that you're doing multiple forms of exercise. That's why I kind of think it's just very similar to CrossFit. Because CrossFit, love me some CrossFit. I want to be a member so bad of a CrossFit gym, but they're building one not very far from my house. Back to the subject. Another one is progressive overload. I talked a little bit about this in my last video. Progressive overload basically just means you're increasing the weight over time. Today's a great example. Today I was doing deadlifts. I started at about 135 pounds, but I decided today, I was like, you know what? This feels good. I've done this for a couple of workouts. Let's switch things up because I don't feel like it's as challenging as it once was. I added another 50 pounds on top. It was amazing. I felt like I was actually breaking a sweat. I feel like I was actually getting work in my legs. And now my quads are never sore. Today we're feeling a little sore. The last tip I will give you for breaking the plateau is something that's called reverse dieting. If you've been in a calorie deficit for more than three to four months, chances are that now that calorie deficit is no longer effective. So that's why we do something called reverse dieting. A lot of bodybuilders do this, especially when they're trying to get their body fat percentage super low for show days. So after their show, they've eaten like a thousand calories a day, which is ridiculous. I do not recommend that unless you were going into a bodybuilding competition. Don't just go back into eating how they were they have to slowly take in calories and slowly build up to eating standard amount of calories. Same thing goes for people who are going through a weight loss journey. If you're four months in and you're starting to see the progress slow down, right? Try reverse dieting. Try increasing your calories by maybe, maybe even just as little as like 300 calories on top of what you were doing. Slowly do it in increments over time and then bring it back down. A lot of coaches do this. They will fluctuate their calories every single day. They'll fluctuate their macros every single day. I had to do this, I would say month four or five for me. Those are my four tips for how to break a weight loss plateau. I'm actually gonna be filming a Q&A video here soon. If you guys want an opportunity to get your question in that video, drop it in the comment section below and let me know what you guys are interested in learning about. This is my new passion. Weight loss has changed my life. I lived my whole life not knowing what confidence was in my own skin. 
And so I want to share that same passion with you guys. If you guys want to check out more of these videos, subscribe to my channel. I also have my links to my other social media platforms if you'd like to follow me on any other apps. I love you. God loves you. And good luck on your weight loss journey. Let me know how it's going. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Anyway, love you. Bye.